Hello friends. So once again I welcome you to my channel. In our last video we have seen some numericals. In this video we are going to uh, see the uh, for sign integer how to represent it in two's complement form. So basically why do we need this? That first we need to understand. Because very soon we are going to start with the instruction set. We will see how one instruction is executed. Means uh, we will see different instructions. So in different instruction you require some operands. Operands will be basically your numbers. So those numbers are represented in two's complement form in our computers, right? So when the numbers are represented in two's complement form, the number may be a positive quantity, the number may be a negative quantity. Then we need to understand how to represent one number, one decimal number may be positive or negative in two's complement form, right? As well as we also need to understand that whatever binary bit combination is given as a two's complement representation of a given number then how to interpret the result that means what is the corresponding decimal of it that we need to understand so all these things we are going to see in this video so this video is very very important to understand our operands right because our operands will be nothing but numbers and numbers are represented in two's complement form so next coming to the method of representing so how to represent in two's complement form what we will do first i'll be explaining you for negative number because for positive number uh, nothing must need to be done in two's complement form also so for a negative number whatever number is given to you you write that numbers binary using n bits where n is the length of the number that you are considering right so simply write the binary of it and then take the two's complement of that binary that will be the uh, two's complement uh, form of that particular given number in binary form. So for a negative number to represent the represent in two's complement method, what you need to do first represent the number in binary using how many bits and bits and you have taken. Then just take the two's complement of that binary of that number, right? Another way, this is one of the method. Another way, very simple method also, you need not have to go to binary. You have been given a one decimal number. That decimal number is already in front of you. What you simply do, you subtract that decimal number from 2 to the power n. What is n? The length of your given number, right? So whatever is the length uh, that, that you raise to the power sub 2 and subtract the number from that. That will also directly give you the two's complement of a given decimal number that we can do directly without going to your binary form, right? So now let's start. So see, the two's complement of a binary can be taken by copying the, and next I'm discussing how to take the two's complement of a given binary bit pattern. Very simple method is there, no need to go to one's complement and plus one. That if you want, you can do. But in a shorter method, very quickly you can get the two's complement. What is that? Whatever binary combination you have got, what you do for that binary combination, say the binary combination is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, right? Say this is the binary combination. Now I need to get back the two's complement of from this binary. So what I will do, I'll start from the left and I'll copy the bits from the LSB. LSB means least, sorry, least significant bit. I'll start copying the least significant bit into my resultant till I meet the first one, till I meet the first one. I'll copy all the bits and then for the remaining bits, I will complement them. I'll flip them. So zero will become one, one will become zero. This zero, zero will become one, one. So this is the two's complement of this given binary bit pattern. Very quickly we can do it. So it is easier method. So next I'll be taken, taking up one example so that the methods will become more clear. So uh, I have taken one example, very simple, minus 14. I want to represent uh, minus 14 in two's complement form. Please understand it is a negative number. I am explaining right now negative number. And we have considered eight bits, right? So when we have considered eight bits, we need to represent 14 in binary using 14, uh, sorry, eight bits. So without doing division by two also, we can represent 14 in binary. What we can do, any given decimal number, what we can do, we can represent it as a summation of powers of 2. Summation of powers of 2. 14 is what? 2 to the power 4 we cannot consider because 2 to the power 4 is 16. So 2 to the power 3 we can take, this, is, this will give me 8, 
then 2 to the power 4 it will give me sorry 2 to the power 2 this will give me 4 then see this part is already 12 i require two more so this 2 to the power 1 so it is 2 so these three bit positions if the bit values are 1 1 then i am going to get 14 then i am not using 2 to the power 0 so 0 is this is these are representing positions so at 0 at position no one is there so the bit value will be 0 here it will 1 it will be 1 it will be 1 and how many bits 8 bits so remaining 4 bits will be all 0 0 because here we are not using anything from powers of 2 so this is the binary of your 14 this we can do it quickly without going for division and all or if you are not uh, if you are not finding it uh, easier one you can use the calculator or the division method but this is a simpler method you can do it quickly if your powers of 2 is clear right and where from you need to start whatever number is given from that number go to the nearest powers of 2 which is less than equal to the given number right this is done then what next step is what we got the binary of it just now we have seen how we got it and then what i will do i will take the 2's complement of it so let's start taking 2's complement 0 and 1 will come directly we will start copying from the left so 0 1 will come directly then the 2 1's will become 2 zeros. then 4 1's will be there right so this is nothing but uh, minus 14 in your 2's complement form right minus 14 in 2's complement form sign bit is 1 that means the number is negative right it is obvious right so this actually what this particular number is representing minus 14 right so next take the 2's complement i'll come to that so next take the 2's complement of my binary i'll take the again the methods are explained already i have told hence the result will be this one so minus 14 in binary is nothing but this one in 2's complement form up to here it is clear then another method i was also telling very simple right so what i have to do i need to subtract the given number from 2 to the power n what is n over here it is 8 so 2 to the power 8 minus 14 will be nothing but the 2's complement form of your 14 negative 14 right so 2 to the power 8 is what 256 256 minus 14 will be what 242 so it is 242 then you simply write the uh, binary of 242 right you write the binary of 242 again see i have used this method only 168 64 that means 2 to the power 7 2 to the power 6 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 4 2 to the power 1 and all other places it is 0 right so this is how also i can represent in binary if you are not familiar you can use calculator or you can use your that division method right so this is the bin uh, this is in uh, sorry this is in binary method uh, your two's compl uh, two's complement representation of your minus 14 both are giving me the same answer right and if they are asking you just in decimal form you can keep the answer like this only right so minus 14 it will be your this one only right so this is done then the next one is i have uh, for positive number next one is positive number for positive number life is simple we need not have to do much what is what we need to do is simply represent the number using n bits in binary and that will give you the two's complement representation for a given positive number given positive number for a positive number please do not take the two's complement of your binary of that given number otherwise you will end up in errors right so plus 14 plus 14 in 8 bits already i explained and this is the answer see please here's uh, for a positive number the msb most significant bit is coming at zero because it is a positive number and see in my previous example see for negative 14 in binary the msb is coming as one because it is a negative number right so this much we have done then I have used one table just to show you that there is only single zero in case of two, uh, two's complement method. Single zero means there is no positive zero, negative zero, only one zero is there, right? And what is the range of numbers we can represent using n number of bits? Just to explain that, I have used this table. And here I have taken n to be your four because four bits combination, 16 combinations we can write easily, right? Longer numbers I cannot take here as an example. So, representing sign number in 2's complement form, here what I have written binary of 
binary combinations for using four bits right so all 00 001 1011 this you can see so this 00 this bit is what zero that means it is positive right and what is the magnitude of this particular one is zero only right for positive number whatever binary is given take the magnitude of that this is also a positive number so this is plus and the magnitude is what one then this one is two this is three this is four and so on this is what plus seven because sign bit is zero this msb means most significant bit represents the sign of a number so it is zero that means it is a positive number and zero triple one represents what nothing but seven this much we understand for binary the corresponding decimal value this part is over right the next part i will be coming with the msb side as one so one means what it is a negative number so directly put minus sign and then how to interpret the result means what is it uh, what this combination is representing what i need to do for that the way i converted the number in true's complement again that binary combinations true's complement i will take and then tell you the decimal of that true's complemented form that will give me the magnitude represented by this true's complement form of the given number so 1 triple 0 i'll take the true's complement of it what i will do i'll start copying from the left till i meet the first one so it is this one only so what this will represent 8 so it is minus 8 see for this one right so see i need to first uh, this is one so understand that it is a negative number then take the two's complement of it what it will be it is one then these two zeros will become what one one and this one will become zero what is this four bits are representing seven and why minus sign because the msb was your one so like this we can find for the last one you can see i'm taking arbitrary example triple one so triple one first i need to convert it into uh two's complement form so triple uh, four ones so first one will be there then three zeros will be there looking at this one only we have put this minus sign and what this representing one so this is minus one hope you are getting this right suppose i have been given minus eight write the two's complement uh, in uh, your using four bits uh, for this minus eight so how we used to do that see minus eight now what i have to do the in the shortcut method we need to 2 to the power 4 minus 8 i need to do what is that 16 minus 8 is what 8 then write the binary of that that is nothing but 100 zero zero. right so both ways i have explained if this is there then the two's method two's complement method what is the binary then also i am getting this and from here also i have explained how i am taking it as your minus 8 please understand if the sign bit is 1 to understand the magnitude First, put the negative sign in front of that number and then take the two's complement of the binary combination. Then tell the corresponding magnitude of that binary combination. Two's complemented binary combination, right? That will be the magnitude of that negative number. This is how we deal with the uh, two's complement form numbers, right? Or sign numbers, right? This part is understood. Now, this part is clear. Then, uh, what is the range of numbers we can represent using n bits? See, using your four bits, you can see that what is the range of numbers from minus eight, lowest number was minus eight, till where we have gone, till plus seven we have gone. Using how many bits? Four bits. So four means n is four. That is two to the power three minus two to the power three, till what? Two to the power three minus one, positive side, right? So that is minus eight till seven, right? So this is the range of numbers we can represent using n bits if we are using two's complement form of the numbers, right? And one more beauty is there. See, this range of numbers, what we are representing already, I have told you that the last thing I would like to mention here for zero, there is only one representation, this one only. There is no positive zero, negative zero. So this is the beauty of two's complement form of your numbers. And in next slide, Sorry, next video we are going to see arithmetic on two's complement numbers. Thank you.